Hi, I'm Willie and welcome back to my channel. So we are continuing our Synology RT2600AC videos this week. We're going to get through them. This one's going to be a little bit shorter. I missed yesterday. So this one will come out this, this morning. I'm going to try to get one out tonight. Things have just been crazy between uh, work and consulting and everything. Just just been crazy busy. Um, and then making sure that I'm spending you know time with the family. You know, taking, uh, I had to take my daughter to ballet yesterday. So that was fun, though. It's always fun to uh, watch. And uh, one other thing, if you haven't been on Twitter or Facebook, and, and um, there was a guy that went to the congressional hearing for Equifax dressed as the Monopoly Man. And if anybody knows who he is, please send me his email address because I want to send him enough money to buy a drink. Uh, I want to PayPal him. It, it's brilliant. Uh, I, I don't know who put him up to it or what. I didn't read that much into it, but I just saw the video. So... Anyway, uh, let's get back into our Synology videos here. Before we go too far, you saw me submit the request to do inter VLAN routing to have that added to the SRM. And I submitted it in the video in the forum, and then I found an actual form where I could submit it, and then I found another form, and I submitted it. So uh, they actually wrote me back already, and he said, Hi, Willie, I appreciate your feedback, and I'll send this feedback to our product management team for further consideration. I can't currently give a timeline for its inclusion, but you can sign up here to be notified of updates automatically by email. So you can sign up your Synology account to get SRM updates. And best regards, Dustin K, product management. I don't know who Dustin K is, but uh, we will we'll see. We'll see. So hopefully they will include that. That would be awesome. So we'll, you know, we'll keep our eye on that because that's one of the few features I see that this thing is actually uh, missing. So this morning, I want to talk about routing and and what what the capabilities are here out of the box, and what we don't know yet. So, if we go uh, into SRM and you go to your internet tab, you can go to Smart WAN. And somebody wanted to know if this could do policy based routing. So right now we're only running one WAN port. We can have two WAN ports, but we're only running one. But if you are running two it does have policy-based routing. So we can do, if, if we were running, you know, WAN 1 and WAN 2, and we wanted, you know, all information headed for one of our sites, and we know the IPs, we can tell it which, which WAN to go out here. Now, what I don't know, well, and, and so I just said that, and then I clicked this. Look at this. There's a VPN interface option. So how easy is this? So we can actually create a policy-based route to send certain things out the VPN. So we're going to get into that because uh, the next video is going to be about setting up different types of VPNs. Then if we go to local network and we go to static route, so not only can we do policy-based routing, we can do static routes. Now when I drop the interface tab down here, I don't see VPN, but I don't know if that's because a VPN hasn't been created. We're going to find that out because uh, I'm hoping to get the VPN video done tonight, but I wanted to talk about routing because I've, I've had this come up a few times. And we could look at the IP routing table, you know, and it would show us what's what's going on there. So here's the plan. We know, you know, we know we can do policy-based routing. We know we can send stuff out of VPN. We know we can also send it directly over 3G, 4G if we've got the dongle plugged in, which I don't. If anybody wants to send me a 3G or 4G dongle with like two gigs of internet, we'll plug this thing in and we'll we'll do that video too. We can also choose whether to send this out the Wi-Fi. It's it's very interesting to me the way that they they have it set up. It's it's very useful, very powerful. So we're going to get into this and we're going to revisit this once we have VPN set up. But then if you go back to local network that's where the static route so we're also going to play with that I am assuming that when we get into VPNs and we want to send certain information out certain VPN tunnels that that's going to be done on the policy side not on the static route this is usually oh we've got a you know an interface or an IP uh, another router inside the network that handles you know routing to another network and so that's this is how we want to create that but we're going to find out once we create the VPN so I, I was really excited when I saw this. So to me, 
it's super duper easy. It's super duper powerful. We're going to find out how it is, but I did have enough questions that I specifically wanted to address the policy based routing. So I think you know where this video is going next when we get the VPNs. It's going to be a little bit longer. Then after VPNs, we're going to talk about the parental control and the traffic control. And then we'll get into the security and things like that. Port forwarding, all that good stuff. So that was it for a real quick video this morning talking about routing. And we're going to revisit this when we get the VPN. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down in the bottom. It doesn't change your price, but it keeps a few bucks rolling into the channel so we can keep doing these awesome videos. And uh, thanks for being here, and I'll see you in the next video.